Good morning, I'm Kenny Choi. Three people were hospitalized last night, including a deputy sheriff, after a routine traffic stop turned into a dangerous crash. It started on Lagoon Drive and Aulele Street by the airport and ended near the entrance to the Hickam Air Force Gate. At around 6 p.m. Tuesday, a deputy sheriff was conducting a traffic stop when a car swerved and hit a utility pole. The deputy had minor injuries, according to the Public Safety Department. The man was taken to the trauma center in serious but stable condition, and the other woman was taken by federal firefighters to the hospital, also in serious but stable condition. A 39-year-old man died last night after he was picking mangoes and fell. It happened just before 7 last night at a home on Keanu Street in Kaimuki. Police say that he fell and injured his head. Paramedics took him to the hospital in extremely critical condition where he later died. In other news, lawmakers take another look at Hawaii's new home mortgage foreclosure law just weeks after the nation's biggest mortgage company said that it will bypass the reforms that were passed. Now, the law put a 14-month 14 14 -month moratorium on non-judicial foreclosures, offering a mediation program beginning in October to offer owner-occupants quicker resolution of disputed mortgages. The law also increased notification rules and other homeowner protections. But earlier this month, Fannie Mae said it will bypass mediation and send all its Hawaii foreclosures into the court system. The current two-year contract covering nearly 13,000 of Hawaii's public school teachers expires tomorrow, and there's still no contract agreement. But now the state may be going forth with plans without the union's approval. The new proposal includes pay cuts and leave without pay. That amounts to about a 5% wage decrease. It would also require teachers to pay half of their health insurance. The Hawaii State's Teachers Union rejects the plan. But the federal labor law allows the DOE to implement what it calls its last, best, and final offer if it feels contract talks have hit an impasse. Tuesday, Governor Neil Abercrombie defended the Department of Education's plan to implement what it calls their last, best, and final contract offer. I think we're at a stage now, given the particular circumstances that we have of, um, of, the, of, of the really extraordinary deficit that we have to meet, that's unprecedented. Everybody has to assume some of the fiscal burden uh, until the economy comes back. The HST, HSTA says it could file an unfair labor practice to relaunch the negotiations. And it's a race against time for the owners of the boat, uh, the Queen Esther. The boat ran aground on Sunday night, and its owner is now working with a salvage company to remove it at high tide today. They have until 8 o'clock tonight to remove the boat before the DLNR resumes control and removes it itself. Amberlynn Hyden is here with a look at your weather. Amber. That's right. And you know, we're going to deal with minor changes over the next eight days, but overall good for the outdoors for this weekend. Trades continue to ease as well as those showers, so it's going to be a dry, hot one ahead. The lightest of our winds coming in Sunday and Monday, our 4th of July. So we'll probably deal with some afternoon cloud buildups, but it's going to be ideal to watch the fireworks out at the beach, take a dip to stay cool. Trades and trade showers will return Tuesday through at least this time next week. Now, as far as our surf, pretty dismal out there. Flat stuff, maybe up to three foot faces for the eastern shores. Tiny northwest bump around Thursday and Friday. That should keep it about waist high. So we don't have a whole lot to speak of for now, but we have a 4th of July swell as well as a bigger reinforcement around the 7th and 8th of July. In the meantime, no marine warnings for you mariners. Things are looking good. Still nice to hit the ocean if you can. The swell better come in for that long weekend. Thanks for watching KITV4 News Online. We're constantly updating the website, so look for news stories later this afternoon and on KITV4 News at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. We'll Thanks for ya. clicking.